Remove all hats and metal objects, including your cell phones. They are not permitted beyond this point. Welcome to the courtroom. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going into the courtroom once again, and this one is absolutely unbelievable. Honestly, this is probably ranked on like the top 20 craziest things I've seen in the courtroom. But first, before we get into that clip, do not forget to hit that like, subscribe, notification bell if you enjoy this type of content. We talk about all things prison and crime related, from the streets to the courtroom to jail to prison. Today, we're going to be traveling to Louisville, and the judge in this clip, I must say, is a fair judge. I've seen many clips with her in it. She tries to help the people that actually looks like they need some help. Then I've seen other clips where she's very stern. I don't think she's like a pushover judge. I think she really deals with principles. But that's just me judging off a few clips I've seen of her. But I would love to hear y'all's input in the comment section below on how you feel this judge handled this situation. Like I said, one more time before we get into the clip, this is probably one of the craziest things I have ever seen. They got them Dell computers. All right, um, it looks like you are ready to be sentenced on this case today, and, okay, you pled guilty way, way back when. Yes, Your Honor, my client pled guilty uh, a few years back. She was on diversion. She failed diversion, apparently, for some reason, but how did she fail diversion? All right, so the judge is saying that she pled guilty a long time ago. So I'm guessing during the past sentencing of that guilty plea from a long time ago, she got a program called Diversion. And over here in Virginia, they have a program called Detention Diversion, where you kind of work like a boot camp type of thing. And then you go to Diversion, where you work a real job on the streets. I don't know if their Diversion program is anything like ours, but it's a program nonetheless. And she was sentenced to it, but she didn't complete it. And that's why she's in the courtroom today. She got picked up on some uh, old charges that... I guess became active again when she didn't finish her program, the diversion program. I never started it. Um, I think no, that's what they said. Never, you never did it in the first place? Yeah, that's what they said in arraignment yesterday. Okay. And bench warranted a few times. Okay. Do you have other charges? Have you ever picked up any other charges? No. Okay, I'm not accepting this sentence. That's ridiculous. Um, no. I'm sentencing you to a, how long have you been in custody? Um, well, they picked me up in Fayette Sunday morning. And you have no charges anywhere? No. no. And the jail would also refuse to give her pants. All right, I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. The volume's very low in this clip. I'm going to try to turn it up as high as I possibly can, but... This girl has been in jail for three days. We're already witnessing something that doesn't really happen too often, I guess you could say, or at least I ain't seen it. The judge is going against a recommended sentence. Said, hell no, this is just too much. This is her first charge. Her first criminal charge in her life, which is a petty-ass shoplifting charge. She's been sitting in jail for the last three days. No pants? What? I've been wearing this since I came in with this on Sunday. The attorney's telling the judge right now that she has no pants since she's came to jail. Excuse me? This is outrageous. Is this for real? Judge can't believe this. No pants in the courtroom is not allowed. I can't wait. Damn, muscle car. Deputy's like, shit! Damn it, Bobby Red, I told you to put some pants on her. How did I notice she didn't have no pants on? I'm screwed. There goes my retirement plan. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is going to take a little bit. Oh, she's making that long call. She said, sorry, it's going to take a little bit. It's going to take a little bit. And keep this in mind. The sentencing that they requested for this young lady, she denied before she even found out she didn't have no pants on. The judge already knew they were trying to carry her with the sentencing that they had planned, and it's going to uh, all come to light, what she was supposed to be sentenced to here in a second. First time shoplifting, first charge ever in her life. Shouldn't even been in jail one night, man. But then again, in other countries, get caught stealing one time, they might cut something off. <laughs> 
Yeah, this judge is really trying to hunt down what's going on here. Hi, Jenny. This is Judge Wolf in courtroom 102. How are you today? I'm fine. I'm actually calling to talk to you, Director Bolton, or anyone uh, who Ooh. can come to my courtroom and tell me why there is a defendant, a female defendant, standing in front of me with no pants on. Don't want to hear that, Director. Um, and she's been here for how many days, ma'am? Um, I got here um, like three days ago, two or three days she's ago. She's been in our jail for three days, and it reports to me that the jail has refused to give her pants and feminine hygiene products. Damn, and feminine hygiene uh -huh. products. Feminine. It's hard to say that word sometimes. Feminine. I'm not feminine. trying to embarrass you. I'm very sorry. Can we get her something to cover up with? Anything? Hey, if I was a bailiff and she said, uh, can we get something to cover up with anything? I would have walked back there and grabbed that flag. <laughs> anything. Anything. Grab that flag, then. I don't care what it is. It's America. Clothe me in that red, white, and blue. Yeah, let's take her back. Also, I'm changing your sentence to $100 fine credit time serve for that. Shit, I'll go into court in the middle of winter with no pants or drawers on if that means I'm getting released. But the judge stopped in her tracks before she even figured out what's going on and said, you know what, you're going home. This is just ridiculous, outrageous, even outlandish. It's a shoplifting charge. A first time shoplifting charge. First time. Days. No, we're not doing that. First time shoplifting charge and the freaking prosecutor or whoever district attorney was trying to give her 75 blickums. 75 days in jail for a first offense shoplifting charge. But then again, she did get a slap on the wrist with the little program, right? She got the program at first. Let us not forget about that. And she decided not to even begin the program. What do you expect's going to happen? They're going to try to give you the max of whatever the hell you're in there for. That's how it always works. Now, if it was me in the courtroom and I didn't have no pants on, I probably still would have gotten that 75. Hang on a second, man. Let's just get this out in the open right now. What the hell is that behind her desk? Is that a damn exercise ball? Judge working on those abs during recess. <laughs> what is this? Am I in the Twilight Zone? What is happening? God, I love the Twilight Zone. Great show. Yes. I've been binge watching X Files lately, man. It's been putting me right to sleep. I love X Files. This is Judge Wolf in courtroom 102. How are you today? I have a defendant who has been in your all's jail for three days, who is standing in front of me completely pantsless, has no pants on. No she draws. has requested pants for three days and has been denied pants for three days. She has no pants and she is in court. And she has also been denied feminine hygiene products. Let's stop this really quick and really analyze this situation for someone to come into the courtroom with no pants. For the deputies, the bailiffs, whatever you want to call these dudes, for them to bring someone in there with no pants, it had to have been done on purpose. Because there's no way they couldn't have seen it. There's no way. Out of all the years of my personal experiences going to the courtroom to be sentenced or fight a trial, anything, there's no way I can possibly imagine one of these guards allowing someone to go into the courtroom with no pants. It's just had to have been done on purpose. That's what I'm saying to myself right now. It had to have been done on purpose. What do y'all think? You think something like this could have been an honest mistake? What the hell is going on? And I am holding her here until she is dressed appropriately to go back to the jail. This is outrageous. And I don't know what happened to her pants, but she says she has requested pants and they have been denied to her for three days while she's been here. And she is not dressed from the waist down in my courtroom. You know, out of all the wild and crazy stuff that I've seen in prison, jail, and just uh, life in general, never in a million years did I think one of those crazy things would be someone being brought to the courtroom with no pants on. I mean, that's just absolutely unbelievable to me. And that's why I'm still sticking with what I think that this had to have been done on purpose. It had to have been. You know, as soon as these officers pull us over or catch us doing a crime, when they put those cuffs on us and put us in the back of the car, start transporting us to jail, they're obligated to take care of that person. 
I don't know the exact wording and laws and codes of conduct that these police officers are supposed to follow, but I do know this. Those officers, deputies, jail, prison, they're supposed to protect you. They're supposed to clothe you. They're supposed to feed you. Basic necessities to live, feminine hygiene products. If you're going to take my freedom or anyone else's freedom, this ain't no third war country. You better take care of them. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the clip of the day. Do not forget to hit that like, subscribe, notification bell if you did. Go buy yourself some Lockdown 23 and 1 merchandise off of Teespring. All of these links will be pinned in the description of the video. Just press that more button and all of them come down. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, I salute every last one of you who've been supporting me since the beginning and everybody who's just now joining the Lockdown Compound. Y'all be easy, be safe, and stay free.